Hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about what I would do if I was learning SwiftUI from scratch right now. So the first thing I would actually do is take the SwiftUI tutorial on developer.apple.com. It takes about four and a half hours and you're going to be building this landmarks app here. And the reason for this is because it will take you through everything you need to build a basic app including navigation, user input, some animations and layout. And it also breaks down each of these really nicely. And at the end of each section, you'll have this check your understanding. So you get a really good sense of what it takes to build an app like this. And it also will be kept up to date as and when SwiftUI is updated. So that's the first thing I would do. The next thing I would do is go and watch Data Essentials in SwiftUI from WWDC 2020. And the reason for this is because it will take you through how your data should flow through your app and how you should implement this. So it will go over property wrappers such as at state, at binding, and it will give you useful diagrams of how all these things fit together. So once you've got a good idea of how data flows throughout an application and you've built your landmarks app from the Apple tutorial, the next thing I would recommend is to actually go and build your own simple app because you can then put all these things that you've learned into practice. There's no point in doing any more tutorials because you need a practical sense of how these things are applied. So if you're struggling for ideas for kind of design, you can go to a channel on YouTube called Cavsoft and this channel puts out a video extremely often and it will take you through lots of different designs. So you'll get lots of ideas and you can see what components in SwiftUI are used to implement these kind of designs. So grab your inspiration from here and then go ahead and keep building your app. Now, if you get stuck, Often when you Google something, you'll be presented with this Hacking with Swift website. So this is run by Paul Hudson, and you can search for anything here. So if we search for border, you can see how to draw a border around a view. And the first result in Google will also bring you to this page. So definitely utilize this website if you get stuck. So the other thing that Paul offers is 100 days of Swift UI. So if you're a bit more of a beginner and you're still getting used to Swift, for example, you can go and do this 100 days of Swift UI and it will take you through the beginnings of Swift itself and eventually getting into Swift UI and you can do it that way if you have a bit more time. So something else I would recommend if you want to approach it in a slightly different way. And another thing that's great is this blog called Swift with Majid. So there's a lot of great articles on here which will take you through in more detail the differences between a lot of these property wrappers but there's so many different things that he dives into here so definitely give this a check so moving on to combine now and Majib will cover a lot of combined topics as well if you want a great free resource it's this book using combine and it will take you through absolutely everything you need to know about combine including all the operators um, examples of how you use it so definitely give this a, a look and another book which is great and gives you a bunch of practical examples is Practical Combine by Donnie Walls and this book will actually take you through every step of your learning and it will give you great examples for example networking how you can do uh, one-shot publishers with futures and a lot of other things that really give you a lot of value if you're looking to learn combine so i'll put a link to this down below as well so check that one out and also his blog is great as well there's a lot of more detailed stuff about combine in here um, but generally swift in general and and related things like definitely worth a look so that's how i would approach learning swift ui and combine right now and obviously my channel will cover a lot of these topics as well currently in the middle of building a fitness app using SwiftUI and Combine Firebase. So check that one out and subscribe if you are interested. And I hope this has helped and I will see you for the next video.